All right, YouTube. Well, I found out that my mag drill, a uh, four and a half inch dull hole saw, is uh, a bit much for my mag drill there. So I ended up breaking it loose in the plate it was on, uh, or the magnet, and snapping off a drill bit. Yeah, real happy about that one. Uh, anyway, so you get to see something cool here. This is, haha. -ha. That's an arc air. Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> That is an arc air torch. Um, basically what it is, is you've got a line running back to your compressor. Whoop. Which happens to be in there. And then I've got the other line running over here to my SA200. And I'm probably not going to go too nuclear on this because it is a uh, eighth inch. Um, I kind of thought about using a torch, but I didn't really want to distort that. And I kind of thought that, um, yeah, the arc air uh, might uh, be a little bit cleaner at cleaning that out. I kind of hope that's the case. Um, yeah, if I had a plasma cutter, it'd just be and clean it out, but I don't, unfortunately. So, yeah, you get to see this. So, there you go. Um, not an absolutely perfect hole, but plenty good enough for my lights. Um, yeah, if you've never seen one of these, it's an arc air torch. These things are freaking awesome. Um, you just, it just uses a carbon rod like that. And I've got it set to run off my engine drive here because my XMT over there, it runs awesome off of that. I just crank it up to about 300 amps and then turn the arc force all the way up or the dig setting all the way up. Uh, kills the internet and the kids are inside watching uh, Star Trek. So, yeah, they're uh, six and they love Star Trek. Anyway, uh, yeah, the original series, by the way. Yeah, none of this next generation crap. But, uh, yeah, so I got these in here. My license plate goes here. And this is going along pretty good. Um, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Hope you uh, enjoyed. I'll probably take some more video here as I go along, but there you go.